In this video, we'll use the hot plate reflow method to solder in the surface mount components on the face dancer and the good fit. I'll start off with the good fit first and using a syringe, apply some solder paste across all of the metal pads on the PCB. The idea here is once we apply heat to the board, the solder paste should melt and gravitate to the metal on the, on the board um, and hopefully not cause too many bridges between the pins. And then on the face dancer, apply a generous amount to the pad so that the connector will stay uh, connected to the PCB solid. Uh, and then just apply some across the pins as you did with the good fit. Next up, we'll apply the larger components first. So here um, on the good fit, I'll lay in my USB connector. Um, just drop it on the top and apply a little pressure so that it pushes into the, the solder. Um, and then I'll drop in the FTDI chip. And now with the ICs themselves, the, the idea here is you just want to line up the pins as best you can. You're going to move around the solder paste a little bit, um, which may cause a little smearing, but again, once it gets hot, it should um, it, it should just melt and, and gravitate towards the metal on the pins and the PCB. Uh, you may have to do just a little bit of alignment to make sure everything looks good. Uh, and the magnifying glasses will really help here. And now we'll put in the smaller components. So here, um, I've already placed the capacitors, and I'll just place now the LEDs. On the back of the LEDs, there's a little bit of an arrow. Um, if you arrange them so that the arrow is pointing up and then place them there, that will ensure that you have uh, the connections in the, in the proper way and that the LEDs will light once you apply power to it. Uh, so here, you may just have to do a little bit more adjusting, and again, um, the slightest little shake can kind of push the LED out of alignment. Uh, so here again we'll uh, apply the LEDs and our capacitors have been already applied and I'll just do them one at a time and make sure that they're all properly aligned and double check it with my magnifier. The hot plates can get really hot really quick so it's always a good idea to have an infrared thermometer watching the temperature. You want it to be about 220 degrees Celsius during the reflow. With the board fully assembled let's put it on the hot plate and keep a close eye on it. You'll start to realize that the soldering paste is starting to become much more silver and liquefied and you'll start to see a bunch of smoke coming out of off of the board. The boards and components can tolerate a good amount of heat so don't worry too much about the smoke but you don't want to leave it on the hot plate for too long. Once the solder looks like it's fully melted um, then it's probably about time to take the board off. You'll notice that I do have some bridges across the MSP430 so that means I'll have to do some cleanup work afterwards. So be really careful, use your tweezers and remove the board from the hot plate. The board's going to be super hot, so have a good place to put it. So you can see here with the face dancer, I didn't let the hot plate fully cool down, um, and so it's going to heat up much quicker, and you'll actually see a little bit of discoloration in the board because the plate's so hot. Uh, so in the future, make sure that you give a bit of time before you move from board to board. Um, also, there's a whole ton of bridges that are going to form on, on the face dancer, so I definitely used a lot more paste here um, and wasn't as detailed as I could have been. But that's it. i got a whole bunch of rework to do, and then I'll be done.